Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, today, investigators are piecing together what happened now that a manhunt for a fugitive grandmother has ended. Lois Reese has been on the run since March 23rd after allegedly shooting and killing her husband, David Reese, in Blooming Prairie. Police say that she used the same gun to kill 59 year old Pamela Hutchinson in Florida before stealing her car and identity. Thanks to a tip, Reese was found and arrested last night at a restaurant in South Padre Island, Texas. John Lorton shows us what investigators think Reese was planning next. There's a sense of relief today because the killer is off the streets. And furthermore, no matter where she went, no matter where she hid, we were going to get her. The month long manhunt for 56 year old Lois Reese, a grandmother of five, ended about 30 miles from the Mexican border. Around 8 o'clock Thursday night, police in South Padre Island, Texas, got a tip from a restaurant worker that Reese was nearby. They arrested her a short time later at the Sea Ranch restaurant. She didn't resist. I, I, think, uh, I think she's kind of built up a resilience, maybe where she thought herself that it, she may not get caught. Police say Reese was with a couple of people when she was taken into custody and did not have a weapon on her. They say she had checked into a hotel and Hutchinson's white Acura that Reese allegedly stole was found near the restaurant. Relieved. Relieved. Uh, our, our biggest goal, uh, along, along, with, uh, along with Florida and the U.S. Marshals, was to, to get her in custody and, and not have anybody else hurt. Police say after shooting and killing her husband David in Blooming Prairie last month, Reese gambled at casinos and was seen on surveillance video at different times, including when she befriended Pamela Hutchinson shortly before police say she shot her and stole her car and credit cards. As you can imagine, it's been a difficult time for, for everybody, certainly the Reese family and the, and the Hutchinson family. Police had given Reese the nickname Losing Streak Lois because of her penchant for gambling. Investigators from Minnesota, Florida, and Texas will be building a case against Reese together. It's likely she'll go on trial in Florida first because she's already been charged with second-degree murder there, Amelia. All right, John. Thank you.